DonegalDaily.com, Donegal's largest news website. For up-to-date news, sport and events from Donegal, click DonegalDaily.com. Well, Glenda Boyle's with me and herself and Jasmine are the only female crew in the dual Donegal International Rally for 2017. Wee bit of pressure there, Glenda? No pressure at all. Makes it easier for us. <laughs> all we've got to do is finish. Yeah. You're driving a Civic. Uh, just tell yeah. us about what class you're in and, and uh, what sort of competition is going to be for you. Um, well, we're it's a Group N Civic, um, but because my sister um, doesn't have an international license, we're running under national. So we're in, I think it's class 22. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's three others in there with us. So we have a wee chance of getting something maybe yeah. at the yeah. end on Sunday. Those classes tend to be competitive. Yeah. Everybody kind of on an even keel down there. So yeah. a finish, first of all, will be a good achievement for you. And to, to win the class would be a dream come true. That would be a big dream come true now, definitely. Um, we're in there with Evos and machinery like that. So it would be a good competition, definitely, for yeah. us. Tell us about your own rallying career so far. How did you get into the sport? What's the big interest? Family, I'm sure. Um, yeah, um, well, always went to it with my daddy, Martin Boyle, and then uh, my uncles, Liam and John, rallied as well. Um, and then whenever I was 21, I entered a competition in England for a scholarship for a year. And I actually won that. Yes. Um, so that was uh, basically for the year they drove me around England and we did the Isle of Man and a few Scottish rallies, the Pirelli and different rallies, but um, and a wee Puget 106. Um, it was supposed to be worth twenty-five thousand. I'm not. I don't know exactly how yeah, much it was worth, yeah. but it was. You know, it's great. Um, the experience I got from that was just unbelievable. Sort of full-time rallying. It was a, year. a full year. Um, all expenses paid. Just Brilliant. arrive and drive, and it was fantastic. And then after that, I still have the 106 actually in the shade. Yes. She hasn't been out now in a while now, but um, my daddy bought me then the, the Civic, the Group N Civic, and I've been driving that ever since. Fantastic. So. Just tell us about your experience in Donegal so far then. I've had a bit of a mixed bag. Um, gearbox has been a big issue. Last year we had an entry, but the gearbox didn't arrive in time. Um, so we didn't actually even start the rally. Yeah. Um, so I had to pull entry. But um, I've had a few mishaps, shall we say, on the stages. and. But um, it's a great rally, and I always come back for more. There's an un unbelievable buzz about yeah, the rally. Yeah, absolutely. As a, as a sport. Yeah, uh, the buzz around here and the rally weekend is just, you can't get it anywhere else. Yeah. What would be your best achievement in Donegal so far, would you say? Um, coming third in the class would have been the best now. Um, and just finishing, do you know what? Because it's a tough rally. It is a tough rally. Yeah. I mean, everybody we talk to will say, if I get to the finish ramp, it'll be fantastic. Yeah. If I can get into the top three or four, it'll be even better. Yeah. I suppose that's that's a reasonable goal to set yourself over the weekend. Absolutely, yeah. And it's Jasmine's first kind of time out in the car as well, so we're just kind of going to take it as it goes, and hopefully yeah. we'll get to the end.